Hey YouTube, this is the Death Scouter making another video. And today we're going to be replacing this little gizmo here because this has been rusted to hell. And this is called a door check. This is what keeps your door from flying open when you uh, open the door and uh, don't want your door to come, come getting ripped off. Uh, this is what it's supposed to look like, nice and thick like that. Here's what mine looks like. It's uh, basically a blade of shredded metal, and there's no resistance whatsoever when I open the door. So uh, we're going to be swapping that out, okay? And uh, the method for this is very simple. It's just a couple of screws here and here but you have to get to this unit from inside the door panel so we'll get started on our door panel removal and step number one is to take this little screw cover off here and you have a nice Phillips screw, dryer, screw head here and you'll have another one down here in your door handle those are the only screws holding this door on and then after that it's all a matter of just pulling the pop rivets and door and uh, uh, fasteners off from around the edges. So you get down here and get your fingers underneath if you're not holding a camera, or get yourself a nice pry tool, which I will pull out shortly, and uh, we'll start prying around the edges, pulling the door panel off. So let me get my tools, and we'll come back. Okay. And do that. So <clears throat> as I pulled the door handle away. We maneuver the uh, the clip that released this uh, metal pole that's used for the um, door release. You know, when you pull the handle, it releases the door lock. Um, little tab here on the bottom of this wiring harness if you're so equipped with electric mirrors. So that pulled away easily. And then this is your this is these are my door locks, and it was very easy to just pull. The, you can see the the clips on the side. Uh, just pull the clip away and remove this whole assembly, and then. What we need to do is we need to get up into the door panel here so that we can access the door check. And to do that, I've gone ahead and just taken all the screws out from that we're holding the speaker in. And you see this little gap right here between where the wiring harnesses are and this little piece of the frame? Well, this little area right here is where I'm going to be able to stick my hand in. I did a little while ago and oh there we go let's get this up in there so I'm, I'm behind this wiring harness but and up and over the top of it so I'm just, I'm just trying to get my camera in there so you can see what's going on and what that's going to do is that's giving me full access up here to where this door check is so two bolts holding it on to the door frame, uh, 10, 10 millimeter uh, screw heads, and then there'll be two more over here on this side, and then this unit should pull into the door, and I'll manipulate it back out through the speaker hole, and then it's just putting all back together in the opposite direction, or in the opposite order. So, 10 millimeters, alright, so you don't need to watch that. I'll come back once I have all four screws out, and I'll tell you how easy it was to get this uh, door check assembly out of the door frame. All right, so I just pulled the door check assembly out. Uh, this is what we have. That's a real beaut. You can just see how the coating around that metal shaft just corroded and ripped itself apart in time. Here's the new one. So ripped and destroyed. Looks like a firecracker went off in your hand and blew your fingers apart as opposed to not. So nice and nice and clean. Um, there is not an up and down on this. It seems to be pretty well um, well there it is. There is an up and down, so this is marked to the front. So the one thing I do want to inform you about is the hole here is not exactly 
the same size as this. So what you're going to have to do is pretty much you're going to, I'm doing this inside out, right? So just to show you, you're going to have to put one end of it into the hole first and then manipulate the other end of the hole in. So let's see what my luck is. Let's see what my luck is getting this thing up there. There we go. Came right through. So now I gotta see I gotta put one end up first and then manipulate the bottom end out and into position. And all right. So So this is front. I don't know what front they're talking about. I would have thought it was to the front of the car. And I'm thinking now, as, as I see the way this thing is designed, that it's to the front of the door panel. There you go, because that's a, that's a perfect lineup. All right. So even though it's marked with front and back, um, or front and therefore indirectly marked with back, um, you can tell by the way that the, this arm is angled as to which way uh, the door check needs to be facing when you go ahead and start mounting it and screwing it back in. So there we go. So we're back in, in place, 10 millimeter head nuts and bolts. I'm gonna put all this back together and then tighten everything down. And then it's all just a matter of uh, screwing the, screwing the uh, speaker grill and holder back in and then reconnecting all of this.